Hello everyone, this is Colleen Lemma, Angelic Astrologer and Spiritual Consultant from AngelMessenger.net and I'm here to do a Soul Reflections video for you. Today is October 31st, 2013. It's Halloween Day. Um, where I'm doing this here in Michigan, it's cold, damp, rainy, kind of dark. <laughs> and the whole month of October that we're just winding up now has been very serious and in a lot of ways kind of somber and reflective and a lot of transformation and transition. We have been coming closer and closer to the Uranus-Pluto square um, that actually becomes exact tomorrow, November 1st. And throughout this month of October, as that has um, becoming closer and closer to its exact square, there's been a lot of transformation and, and transitioning, big changes that are happening on the planet as well as individually in people's lives. We're feeling things on a physical level, a mental, emotional level, spiritual levels. So there's a, a lot going on. Um, I think you'll find that uh, throughout this last month and even as we move into to November that uh, as the energy of the, of the planet changes, as our energies individually change, as the evolution continues um, for us as souls and for us as a humanity that our energy vibrations are changing and a lot of this uh, deals with the planets and the universal energies that are going on and happening. A lot of people have been going through physical um, issues or challenges within their physical body, and that has a lot to do with the energy vibration uh, raising, our souls evolving, and as the energy vibration within us um, rises and changes, the physical body has to catch up because the physical body is at a third dimensional level when we're actually you know, raising our vibration to fourth and fifth dimension. So, you know, in that way, um, a lot of people might be feeling aches, pains, nauseousness, headaches, things of that nature. That's, you know, typically normal, a normal part of, of evolution for these physical vessels that we're in. Now, again, that Pluto-Uranus square is exact tomorrow on November 1st, and it's followed by a very powerful new moon solar eclipse that happens on Sunday, November 3rd. So the solar eclipse energy, that eclipse energy, is going to heighten the effects um, of that new moon. And this new moon is actually in the sign of Scorpio. So we have a lot of Scorpio energy that's going on right now. We have uh, moon, sun, and Scorpio, which you know makes up that, that new moon solar eclipse. But Saturn's also there in Scorpio with it. And the North Node is also there in Scorpio with this new moon. And the North Node energy, this is where we're going uh, as far as our humanity, as, as us as individuals. It's the energy that we want to be moving towards, what we want to manifest, we want, what we want to create in our lives. And all the Scorpio energy is, is um, causing us to kind of dig deeply, to find out what our passions are, to find out what we're truly emotionally connected to. And um, also, I forgot, Mercury is retrograde in Scorpio as well, so we have Mercury in that mix. And Mercury is actually, with its retrograde motion, um, it's allowing us to think about and, and um, kind of decide and make plans for the next step that we want to take on our path. So as we move into November, there's you know actually a lot of uh, things coming up. There's a lot of planets that are either going to go retrograde or they're going to turn back and go direct. So there's a lot of shifts of energy that are happening. A lot of this is about our belief systems. We're needing to uh, rethink what it is that we believe in. Um, what we believe about ourselves, what we believe about our lives, what we believe we can and cannot accomplish. So that's going on for the next few months. Uh, we have Neptune getting ready to turn direct. And you're going to find that uh, this along with the Mercury retrograde, um, which turns direct after mid-month, this is going to increase our perceptions and our psychic abilities, our intuitions. It's going to increase our... Uh, creativity or creative inspirations, our aha moments, 
it's going to increase our dreams um, so that we need to pay attention to those a bit more. So um, all of our intuitions are going to uh, be fine-tuned during this month. I feel like this is going to be a month of empowerment. This month of November, I feel like, you know, October was kind of a, a down period of time. Um, a lot of self-reflection, contemplation, meditation types of energies going on. And although we still have the Scorpio energy theme that's continuing through at least the first part of November, we, um, I think we're coming out a little bit more as far as empowering ourselves, um, being more confident in what direction we want to go to, more confident about who we are, and in some cases taking our power back, and whether this is taking our power back because of certain situations and circumstances in our lives, or taking our power back from other people or individuals in our life, or maybe just taking our power back as far as owning it and um, utilizing it in the best way for ourselves so that we can create and manifest the life that we really truly are passionate about, that we really desire to um, be in and to do what it is that we really desire to do. So, you know, I just want to share that with you and say um, to kind of hang in there with all of this transform transformation and the evolution that's going on on the planet. Um, I think things will feel a little bit lighter as we move towards the second half of November and then into, into December. It will be a little bit lighter than it has been. Um, but it's not that this is a negative. This is just a time where we are uh, truly getting in touch with our truth, getting in touch with the truth of our lives and how we want to live our lives and um, kind of rooting out and purging and releasing things, energies, situations that are no longer in our highest and best interest. And although that may obviously continue as we go forward with um, three more pluto Uranus squares yet um, over some months that we're going to be dealing with, um, you know, each, each month has its own gift of, of healing and recognition and resolutions with it. But I just wanted to touch base with everybody and just kind of let you know what's kind of going on right now with, with some of these energies that we're dealing with. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for all of your support. Um, I appreciate all your positive comments. And check me out on angelmessenger.net for services, healing, other events. And also look forward to the monthly uh, angel card reading uh, for November, as well as the next uh, or the next week's uh, angel card reading, which will be coming up. But obviously the monthly card reading is coming up here shortly. So stay tuned for all of that. And until next time, many angel blessings to you.